Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey everybody, it's Chris once again from Brick and Mortar Brewing Company. It is Homebrew Wednesday, and today I am going to do also do a beer review from Mr. Tyler Everson or Everson. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it either way correctly, but Everdy Home Brewing right across the state, or I guess up and to the east of me from Sheboygan. This is his Florida Georgia Lies which is a kettle sour with peach and mango. So I am looking forward to this. I have heard awesome things about it. So uh, we're going to get into it. It was brewed on January 22nd, 2017. Love that color. Wow. Pretty much looks like a mango. Hmm. So I should have let it warm up a little bit. But right away I get a ball of peach and the mango. It's total fruit. You know, when you just cut into a peach and you get kind of the, the dryness of the pit. It's totally what I get in here. Awesome. Cheers, Tyler. Thank you for this gift. I'm going in for a taste. Wow. Okay. That's totally not what I expected. So a lot of the sours that I've had, which I'm not, I can't say I'm an expert in the sours. Um, I try them. Um, I had a, a blueberry sour from two brothers a few months back. And I did it in the mid phase of the beer night, so which was a mistake because it was so mouth drying that I think the rest of my night was altered with taste perception. Um, so I expected there to be a dryness on my palate, and there's not, but the roof of my mouth instantly feels slightly drier. It's not like taking all the saliva away, but that's so interesting. And I'm not a mango person um, per se. I don't, I mean, if it's in a salsa, I think I'm coming around with, with my appreciation for it. Um, so I didn't know if I would like this, but the combination with the peach and then the sour, it, it completely works. I love the smell. It smells like a, like a peach mango fruit cocktail. Um, yeah. Awesome job, Tyler. Stellar. Um, as uh, some of you guys know, I just texted you a picture, but I bought the um, brewing publication American Sours series. So I definitely want to dive into that um, and, and study up and, and do some sours. I got some ideas of things I'd like to try. Uh, hopefully they'll work. Um, 
So on top of that, I talked to, uh, on some online chats with Dan Disletz of um, F It Let's Brew It, and he is into the cheese making thing, and he had sent out some cheese mail to some guys, and I was totally salivating just looking at the pictures. Um, it's really awesome. I'll put his link uh, to his channel as well as Tyler's, of course, um, in the comment or in the uh, description below. But I reached out to him and said, you know, I commented on his, on his video and I said that uh, he's really making me want to dive into this cheese making thing. And he right away told me about a book that he um, kind of goes to for his inspirations. And so I went to Amazon and picked it up. Uh, the Art of Cheese, Natural Cheese Making by David Asher. So I looked through it, and man, I'm I'm just stoked to uh, dive into it. I probably won't be able to put much time into it till mid to late summer, but um, definitely read and and get kind of a foundation of knowledge going, and and go from there. So cheers to you, Dan. Thank you so much. Um, on top of that, what's going on? I got a double brew day, not a double brew day, but a, a two-day brew coming up this weekend. I'm going to be brewing on Friday, and on Saturday, I'm brewing my black coffee IPA, uh, which I call Hop Ninja. Um, and then I'm also brewing a beer. It's a pale ale that I brew for a work event. Uh, we do a an outing. Uh, the company I work for owns a a kind of a seasonal campground it's for more for the rv camping folk but there's a mini golf course on it and we host our vendors and some customers um but and upwards of 350 people come to it and i've pretty much been taking my beer there for the last four years so i take four to six different kinds of beer and you know just serve it free of charge of course um and you know look forward to the reviews so because there's a mini golf course um, on the grounds, I my pale ale is called Putt-Putt Pale Ale. So I will be brewing that for this event. Uh, the event is in June. It's actually the day before, well, the Wednesday of the week of NHC, which is why I cannot attend on Wednesday. But my wife and I will be heading up to Minneapolis on Thursday. So looking forward to meeting all you fellas face-to-face uh, -face that I've definitely uh been chatting with um on messenger and and through uh youtube so that is going to be awesome um other than that just managing all the stuff that i've been brewing uh transferring to secondary and adding whatnots to them i still have the top secret beer for the collab challenge um the candy bar beer that i brewed a few weeks ago I racked over to secondary and put it on some cocoa nibs and um, dry roasted unsalted peanuts to try to get more of that Hershey's Take 5 candy aspect. The smoked paprika that I put in it is pretty predominant. I was surprised. I put two tablespoons at the end of the boil in a 10 gallon or a five gallon batch. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I still have some time for it to mellow out. So I'm just going to let it kind of rest where it is um other than that i think that's it my last video was about 20 minutes so i'm going to keep this one short but uh hey thanks again guys i have i'm just at the cusp of the 80 subscribers and that is just outstanding um i appreciate your your time that you you put into watching these videos and the comments of course um are always great and the likes are, are awesome too so thanks to all who have done that and i look forward to gaining more subscribers of course and uh keep brewing guys keep just pushing the boundaries and 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 perfecting and and you know continue learning um i don't think we ever stop learning we should never feel that we stop learning um i think that that causes complacency and and lack of creativity so cheers to everybody uh, and until next time, guys, take care.